डॉक्टर ईश्वर वी बसवर अड्डी डायरेक्टर ऑफ मोरारजी देसाई नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ योगा मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया न्यू डेली फॉर द लास्ट सिक्सटीन ईयर्स He is the head of Institute Yoga Certification Board, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India since 2018. Project Director WHO CC Traditional Medicine Yoga since 2013. Completed PhD in Yoga, 32 years of experience in yoga education, training, therapy and research. Completed 10 major research and development projects. Published more than 12 research papers, 28 booklets, 10 monographs. Several initiatives have been taken up under the stewardship of Dr. Basavaraddi for the promotion and development of yoga across the country. Dr. Ishwar V. Basavaraddi, we welcome to international seminar on. Yoga therapy for freedom from diseases to deliver the presidential address. We pleasedly welcome you, sir. To join and uh, especially Professor Solomon Murthy sir is there, and uh, it's my privilege always joining such a meeting where sir is there, and uh, Dr. Jayanti um, sister is doing a wonderful job, and uh, she is a philosopher. and a very eminent uh, yoga professionals and it's my privilege to join such a wonderful gathering so i will not take much time because just she called uh, i was when not seen that i had to deliver a president address i thought that i am one of the speaker uh, just i am listening to some of the uh, previous speakers sir and other experiences i would like to say five important things uh, here uh, today in yoga where we stand and uh, that's most important whenever uh, we speak about yoga many people go on speaking just reading and less listening to but uh, in recent past i am advising my students why we do uh, do want to practice yoga you want to do it for fitness for wellness for any spiritual quest or to overcome certain disorders to improve certain physiological conditions for the personality development for the mental health whatever it may be to begin with so we have to identify the objectives of our yoga practice because yoga has a several dimension yoga therapy is one of the dimension i will come to that point so therefore uh, my sincere suggestion to all yoga teachers professionals first understand the basic objective and just uh, address it properly so that so they will start getting the interest in yoga because any system stands on delivery people come to us and we have to deliver what they yoga will deliver but the desire results of the person who is coming for the yoga practice so therefore address the fundamental objective or the motive uh, then it will be a lifelong journey it will not end after uh, overcoming certain problems or fulfilling the objectives so then the teacher has. so that's why this is the first dimension uh, first thing i would like to suggest with my experience address the uh, basic objective or the interest of the person so that this is the one the second one most important one is though you are providing a yoga therapy or you are conducting some clinical research or scientific research anything but you do understand that yoga is education so it is education even in giving therapy also you have to educate educate the patient or the person who is coming for yoga therapy about the 
the his self and uh, his uh, physiological conditions so slowly slowly you have to make him aware about his own personality because you are not treating the disease you are treating the persons so therefore you have to make aware aware about his own personality uh, maybe it is uh, the scientific aspects of physiology anatomy and all these things it's a very very fundamental we studied in uh, higher secondary schools the basic uh, anatomy physiology even 10 plus 2 that's more than enough many people not aware about it so how digestion take place how breathing take place how our circulation system works how our elimination system work how they are important for that what is the importance of sleep and proper diet all these things fundamental things so you do, you need not to give all these information what the person needs the basic fundamental information one by one one by one you give them and the role of yoga in all these things the role of yoga in the management of our physiological conditions improvement in the digestion circulation elimination uh, practice uh, elimination processes so what is the role of yoga one by one one by one so if you educate then it will be very wonderfully they will understand so there you need not only the scientific knowledge and an educator that's why i'm telling yoga is an education you have to educate them a scientist a very good great scientist he can do the Uh, research and you can do the scientific man but if you sometime many times and uh, he may not be a good educationist they don't level now uh, we are fortunate to have like professor salamuti is not only the great scientist or a researcher he is an educator he is an educationist so it's my humble request to all the uh, yoga professionals whenever you uh, give yoga therapy you be first educationist a teacher a mentor and uh, there is a very fundamental principles in uh, yoga you should be a uh, motivator it may be a teacher you may be a you know instructor like this there are several roles to teacher so where you start and ultimately you have to motivate them to practice yoga so fundamental stuff here this is the second thing i would like third important aspect come to the therapy so therapy is a you start with some uh, i never find that uh, generalized uh, protocols we give for hypertension for diabetes but every individual is different and uh, in yoga unless you treat that when it comes to the particular that's why in uh, krishna macharya yoga mandiram or in ayangar yoga or anybody who are really uh, providing the yoga therapy they love to give a individual therapies you have, i am giving now I me mean, in my institution i had given a protocol for diabetes protocol for the covid uh, rehabilitation so all these things are generalized and general guidelines but a yoga therapist is one after educating he has to design the protocol a capsule suitable for that individual for a certain period of time it's not a permanent one today i am at my state of mind my state of body condition this protocol suits that's why he is coming for the treatment so then every day you have to modify even i am in ardha halasana i am pressing it today it's uh, he relaxed he understood and i immediately take him to the particular position and make them to stable siram sukham it's a very very subtle so you have to understand their body movements you have to understand their Uh, psychological state we have to make them all the environmental conditions suitable to practice yoga so that is wonderful technology 
a wonderful technology and every small modifications works very subtly so that's why you have to because you have to do the, uh, convert that exercise into the practice practice means it's a body mind breathing everything it's unique it's alignment first the breather body alignment breathe alignment and you have to understand the involvement of your sensory organs and make them to orient and everything become one it will not happen in a day this is an art this is a technology that's why sadguru ji always uh, used to mention yoga is a technology so that behind the technology there is a science whenever you talk about technology there is a science and very great scientists know that every science uh, the foundation is the philosophy <laughs> so many people misunderstand that without philosophy there is a foundation of philosophy philosophical foundation there is no science stands so then the technology and then with that technology you are putting the appliances like a capsule small capsule uh, with my experience i am telling this many people will not follow this so that's why we give the results and uh, uh, we conduct the particles and after some time if you go after 3 months it's so oh, i stop practicing yoga so again i am going for the medication because it's very easy to take a pill why to <laughs> make spend some half an hour one hour why i am telling you because of wrong or false lifestyle because of all these things only all these lifestyle disorders are coming up the person's mind and individual mind will not change in a day or two therefore such type of thing every day you are waiting the four fundamental things you are you are trying them improving their digestion so one is inception and the digestion you are improving their digestion. so without any pill now today i am uh, eating well and digesting well circulating well absorbing well elimination process are improving so many people don't get the proper motion and now uh, i am going for the an easy elimination processes so all these things have making them the lighter they have build up then slow low oh, today i slept for two hours more sleep is second one then another one is the uh, the sexual activities many people don't understand once we become adolescents so this is also to be channelized so that's why we have in indian system there is a very eco friendly systems we developed the marriage and everything so that also to be in my opinion it should be very healthy maithuna adi kriyas what we mentioned in these things so that is to be very very healthy routine activity so happy hormones has to be followed so that's why the yogi is convert into that energy into the spiritual energy there is a process in kundalini yoga so there is a process to to convert that one energy one form of energy to the another form of energy energy can be converted every scientist know that so that's why these are all the techniques so we have to then then most important is the fear so in uh, klesha so we have to uh, always there is a abhinivesha fear of death is the ultimate so every individual want to survive as long as possible clinging to the life so this is one of the klesha so what is the solution given in the i am just going to the philosophy class what uh, how to overcome this klesha tanukarana samadhi bhavana what are the practices he has given tapas swadhyaya ishwar pranayama so like this we have to prepare the yoga capsule based on these philosophical aspects so what is what type of fear the person having some people don't Uh, fear about the death but they fear about the losing the the some position they fear about the losing the wealth they fear about the losing some of their close relatives so whenever a father or a mother lost their son or the son or daughter lost their parents highest uh, level of stress and anxiety we can see that so that's why uh, the same thing about and uh, these things are the instinct ahara nidra bhayam antana are the four instincts 
in yoga therapy when you are giving and these instincts to be addressed properly make it individualize because so every individual has a unique mind setup so if you understand this alignment and bringing that is the third important then slowly you are entering into therapy and fourth important dimension i found that the psychologist also agreed sir also agreed that any behavioral modification it will not happen less than 3 months so you have to continue that practice for more than 3 months minimum so that's why continuing this practice for 3 weeks minimum then 3 months to give a better results is wonderful that's why in yoga protocol so if you want to do any research i request or this things for five minimum three months of practice so even three days of practice will get some uh, results no i don't say no but if you want to modify how it is first of all it starts with a detoxification toxins has to be removed then i have to bring the diet modification i have to bring the postural modification i bring the breathe modification so alignment of our monostral dominance so then uh, it will have the impact on my um, uh, autonomous functions so then slowly i have to bring the sensory organs so that's why we have a several mudras etc so these are all the pratyahara practices indirectly we without mentioning it we are incorporating then there is a concentration so prolong concentration and uh, it helps for the meditation meditation happens so once meditation happens whenever we sit we start doing meditation so then start the behavioral modification i change my lifestyle it takes time because the disease has not come in a day all these lifestyle diseases took lot of time so uh, to uh, come to that level the same reverse procedure is need to be applied we don't need that much of work. hours in my opinion yes i had given some wonderful results in short period of time but sust i am talking about the system to maintain that that's why in yoga sutra alabdha bhumikatva anavastita tatva so i cannot cure the disease but i cured it but have you maintained it no i can't maintain again i am getting back to the pills or medical treatment so for that one again alabdha bhumikatva anavastita what are the what are the solutions of uh, patanjali for such type of uh, uh, unstable results uh, unstable results means i had to work com- complete so that is the most important thing is motivating them creating an environment at the family level or at the workplace etc so to continue those practices for a long time so that so he will be at the last one the fifth one is most important it is the the adopting the research attitude so unless that person has notify the change minor changes that is also research he is doing a research on self self analysis every day yesterday i did this asana today i did it better so small thing and keeping the documentation so you are sending them for the clinical um, observations so you are recording for one uh, one day and after 10 days or 20 days or 3 months so that is one observation but every day the individual observation the teacher observation the therapist observation so all these things will help you to or help him to understand what he is or she is so there your mark is over because you have educated him to understand what he is or she is so then you have to only say orient them on the philosophy and science of yoga not only the philosophy when you follow science of yoga so yoga is a science and science of yoga once it follows and there is no back to the initiative so that's why so i am um, sorry to mention it many of our researchers concerned about only about the continue taking the research projects complete that giving the results publish in the research papers so many of the researchers especially who are not uh, yoga persons not i am not talking about professor salomutiji or bijnani ji or something 
they're completely devoted their yogis they transform from the scientists to the yogis now they are recognized more in the yoga community than in the their own field in my opinion sorry for my observations so uh, that much of because they have been transferred because whatever i said they have i they do agree that uh, they follow this we follow the i am a physicist i just studied physics so slowly i come for only to improve my personality or something so concentration power i am not able to deliver work according to my capacity we come for yoga for that so to overcome some respiratory problem but once you adopt yoga so i did 9 months continuous under the guidance so that changed my attitude towards yoga so that changed this thing so that's why so my teacher used to say now today after 40 years back when my teacher was teaching today i wrote down padmasana first day when i am going to teach first batch padmasana i read my experience what was my experience when i first time practice padmasana so first time i did the uh, ustrasana today i may be much better i may having more experience but the beginners how they feel it so it reminds me it remind the first time is always suppose first time in 92 i still remember the the wonderful meditative experience so like this if you start recording up to 3 to 6 months or 9 months of practice so you will never look back so that self analysis and self recording the research attitude is most important to eliminate any such disorders otherwise we are spending money after money and we are uh, wasting this thing it will not sustainable this is my personal it's not i am not making it generalized people uh, may comment or oh, no i give it three months and leave it medical professionals can do that so that's why till uh, lakhs of people coming to us remember me and whenever they practice they remember basavreddy the teacher basavreddy they remember professor selamurthy he really teach you research doctors will come and go but that you are being with them every day whenever they leave and um, they wake up and start doing yoga they remember the teacher i remember my teacher when i start with a prayer so the teacher will uh, therapist because he's an educationist he's a teacher he's a mentor so he will not leave their house and their mind he should remain with them guiding them motivating them unknowingly knowingly in a not in a visible form in a uh, such a form this type of bondage that's called yoga you talk about uh, how this union takes place union takes place such type of mental teachers it is a uh, universal it's a uh, that's why i'm always said what is yoga for me it's the journey from the finite to infinite unknown to the unknown to the unknown thing because slowly slowly when you go to the higher subtler aspect it becomes infinite so it is going from one field to the another field higher aspects of your so then you are you are meeting somewhere in the space is different meeting at the road is different waiting is another thing is different so that's why you have to elevate to that level so so people will definitely connection will be more easy in the space in the higher level so there but we need the more accuracy more fine tuning is very important even small micro attend raise to minus 100 or thousands level or so it will not work when we go to the higher states so that's why all these great yogis like patanjali gautam buddha and great yogis they have the same type of experience when they come back deliver they want to deliver to their disciples they use their empirical knowledge the spiritual knowledge is the same but they went delivered to the empirical knowledge so that has been diverted we call it but the knowledge is the same the same thing in therapy we are giving the understanding is the same but you are touching the individuals you become along with them union with them you understand their emotional level they understand their psychological level intellectual level physiological level so you be with them i have to be there with them only so convert them with your energy with your motivation so that's the need of the hour these are the five points i spoke as a student of yoga and a 
teacher of yoga. So if you any teacher is there, if you agree with them and continue and do some research on that. So always uh, in my institution from the beginning, whenever we practice research documentation, and that will improve my I, for me only. I'm not doing for publication is just an academic activity. For me, myself, my improvement to you. And ultimately, I'm living to you, enlighten myself in yoga. So this type of thing, and learning my experience, I'm learning from Professor Salomithi Sir, Jayanti Manam, and all these things I'm noting down. So when I sit and analyze, that's it. What type of, ultimately, what is he feeling? Light he is positive, you convert them into negative aspect to the positive dimension. He is action and relaxation. And there is always a happy hormones are there and he is entering into the state of bliss. Experience of ananda, every walks of life. So you make them a best human being. That's a wonderful science that great yogis had given to us. Now we have to take to the entire world. So this time, slowly, slowly, we are targeting the bigger population. So next, when we go for 27 crores, this time almost we cover 22 crores. We targeted 25, 22 crores nearly. We reached to so 27 crores in India only. So that means in a one family, now Hargar Tiranga, now Hargar Yoga. So every one person, one person at least in a family should practice yoga, know about yoga. So the scientific, scientific aspects of it, not only just stretching and breathing. So once you introduce in the next 10 years or 20 years, yoga become a household activity. We can do very well. So every seminar and conferences should have this dimension also. So you have to take to the entire mankind. Then that is the, the social, uh, what about talk about the social health, well-being will also be achieved. Thank you very much for your patience, everything. And thank you, uh, Dr. Jayanti Ji, for giving me an opportunity to share some of my views. Jai Jai Bharat. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.